Welcome back, everyone, to Blackbeard's Island Fortress. But first off, we'd read some more of Rejek's diary here. Starting with November 21st, 1696. Days of plunder and war. What more glorious pursuit could men ask? Gold coins spill across my decks. My new ship is quick and deadly. My crew equally so. I am now known to the frightened as Rejack, the scourge of the Caribbean. According to legend, I drink Spaniards' blood and feed on their children. Marquez is my right-hand man. After our escape from the Spanish, we vowed to become just what we are, kings of the ocean. My men, Justice, the, e the ex-Royal Navy captain, Rockfish, the philosopher, and all the rest could each have been a great pirate captain in his own right. But they chose to sail with me, bound by the oath of the brethren. Even the lad Edward, young though he is, shows great promise. We have sworn to fight, quarter, neither asked or given, and to take everything the enemy has and leave the dead or broken. So I assume him and Marquez escaped after being slaves on the Spanish ship and got their own, became notorious pirates. <clears throat> January 4th, 1698. We arrived in Charleston last night, and our whole our whole full of goods for the nobles of this port city. They love us. To them, we are the dashing renegades of the seas. One lady in particular has drawn my eye. Unfortunately, she's married to the governor himself. I fear that I have compromised her with the rash words I whispered in her ear. She is so beautiful. Apparently, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder, if that's the lady that he's talking about. June 10th, 1698. We were forced, because of my foolishness, to leave Charleston in rather a hurry. I have made an enemy of the governor and an adulteress of his wife. I promise to go back for her after my desire for Spanish blood is sated. Well, apparently, I have a feeling that our friend Anne here is probably the offspring that he's talking about there. Or at least the offspring that the governor's wife probably ended up having. But we'll probably find that out as we go. So let's look around this fortress here. Anything over this way? No. Let's see if this guy has... Oh, what's this? A funky barrel. Charcoal. I bet that's useful. Let's talk to this guy. I think this is Rockfish. We'll go on up to the second floor and see who's around. When can I see Blackbeard? Well, it's best with Blackbeard to wait until he's in the right mood. He's got a little bit of a temper on him. Are you afraid of him? Not for myself, no. He's my best friend. But he breaks things, and he kills people. And I rather like you two so far. <laughs> Let's see if she has anything to say. It sure is nice to be off that island. All right. Well, let's head on in. Somehow. I don't get out of here. This way? Ah. We have Lookout, the bar, and cargo. Let's head to the Lookout. Apparently we can't. How do we get this thing going? There we go. To the bar. Here we are. Well, I see this place is jumping as usual. Blackbeard hasn't talked to anyone lately. He's been stewing up in his office ever since we heard about justice. The storm will break before long. By God. I don't like the sound of him today. Do you think you can mix him a drink? Hmm. I know of a drink. This is a bit of a test, lad. Don't make the mistake of thinking that Blackbeard's just a loud drunk. Many people have made that mistake. He knows you're here, and he probably even knows why. He astounds me sometimes. You'd better get busy if you want our help. 
Alright, so we have to make Blackbeard some sort of special drink. Which, I believe we can look at the journal here. We have a, a nice secret formula. And you drink it. And then you vomit. And then you repeat. So we'll make this. We need a liter of rum, two fistfuls of saltpeter, one fistful of sulfur, one brick of charcoal, which we have, one tablespoon syrup of ipecac, ipecac, ugh. It's like made to make you throw up. Dash of pepper sauce and two cups of ale. Alright. Let's see who else is here. Who's this guy? Expecting to see Blackbeard, are you? Don't hold your breath. We have a hippie pirate here? waiting for days. Huh. There we go. Oh, my old crew. Or some of them. Hey, Lyle. By God, Nick. It's damn good to see you. I was afraid that you and Anne might have died on that island. Felt like a coward for letting Bone maroon you like that. What are you doing? <sighs> Haven't you ever heard about Blackbeard's sulfur breathing contest? Ugh. No. Well, he shuts himself and whoever wants to challenge him down in the hold of a ship. Then, he lights a pot of sulfur and lets it smoke. Whoever can stand to stay down there the longest is the winner. No one has ever stayed longer than Blackbeard, except for the guy who died. <laughs> I'm practicing. <sighs> you think you can take him? I think I've got a chance. <sighs> I'm glad you showed up. Them bastards still after you? I've got this tattoo now. Mother bugger. They're gonna cut that arm right off ye. That's a mighty pretty tattoo, though. Don't you worry. They'll have to come through me first. Great. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. We can talk later. Huh. We do kind of need some sulfur. My god, my head hurts. Stop. What is it, Scrub? Stop huffing the sulfur. I guess, Scrub. Just a little, though. I'm using it. Great. We got the sulfur. See what you have to say. Nick, how have you been? Yeah, you kind of left me on that island. But I'm better. Since you don't have a murder on your conscience, we should not have left you on that island. I am sorry I didn't speak up on your behalf. Bone has spent his last day as captain as far as I'm concerned. The man has a rotten heart. You just figured that out? What are you doing here? We are hiding from the Royal Navy. Bone tricked us into firing on an English merchant ship. In doing so, we broke our privateer charter, and now we are hunted criminals. They say we will hang in Port Royal before it's all over. Me, they want especially. A witch as well as a pirate. Well, that's what you get for trusting that fool. Can Blackbeard help? With Bone as our spokesman, I think not. Blackbeard has compromised his security by letting us in here, and I fear that none of us will leave alive. Lyle thinks he will get in his good graces by winning the contest, and maybe he is taking the right approach. I find it encouraging that he could still speak English. <laughs> I will speak with you again later. Okay. Hmm. Now let's see if we can mix up this drink. Somehow. First of all, we want. Oh, great. A liter of rum and two fistfuls of saltpeter.
Then we need one sulfur, the charcoal, and one of ipecac. Now what do we got here? So the sulfur. Oops. Sulfur. The charcoal. the Ipecac. Then we need pepper and two cups of ale. Huh, I guess this is the pepper. not look tasty. Now, will you let us go up there? Let me taste the drink. If you made it incorrectly, Blackbeard will have your head. Yes. That's it. I'll take it up to Blackbeard right away. Wow. Do you didn't vomit really with that? Do you think a drink will get him down here? I hope so. I really need to see him. Well, take a number. I've been waiting three whole days and haven't seen him. My business is damned important. Yeah, well, my drink is better. Where the hell is he? Of course, maybe he knows what I'm here for, and he's scared. <laughs> maybe I might want to turn around. There and... <laughs> here I am, numbwit, standing on your brains. <laughs> <laughs> you made this bloody god awful drink. Come on, step up, scumbag. Let me see you. Yes, I made it. Well, this is the worst drink I've had in years. This is the same crap Red Jack used to make us drink. His specialty. You'd think he dipped it straight from the latrines. Ah, oh, the memories this brings back. Rum for everyone! We'll drink to Captain Red Jack. Here, you made it. You'll have to drink the rest of it. Oh, oh, God. Now we have things to talk about. Rockfish says you have a real brethren tattoo, and he believes that story you tell. I don't know what to believe. Do you know who or what you are? I'm Nick. I'm less than pleased to meet you, Nick Dove. I've heard your name. Rockfish says that you got that tattoo in a dream. It's true. Razuli predicted your arrival, though not exactly. She said as the time of the reunion approached, we would begin to see signs. She said that someone would arrive, marked so that we would know him. My dreams have also been troubled of late. I dreamed of justice on what must have been the night he died. They say you killed him yourself. No, I did not. The killers. Did you see them? I've seen them twice. Who the hell are these people that they can kill the brethren? I'll make someone pay, but it won't help. They're all dead already, except for Rockfish and me. Oh, I failed Red Jack and the brethren again. Again? Yes, again. I'll tell you the whole ugly story. Marquez and I were the last through the tunnels the night of the Cartagena raid. We were 
Dennis Marquez, you ask? He was Red Jack's right-hand man and his closest friend, and the one who could have gotten us away safely. We were running from the Spanish. He let me go first, but on his way through, he slipped and fell in the water. The current was strong, and I couldn't get to him in time. He drowned. I had to go find Red Jack and tell him what happened. Red Jack lost everything that night. His treasure, his best friend, and his life. I could have prevented all of it by being quicker, by being more level-headed, by saving Marquez. I've made my own kingdom here, and vowed to keep everyone in it safe from betrayal. But that doesn't change the past. When the brethren needed me most, I let them down. And now, I failed again. There's only two of them left. This, I guess the traitor doesn't have to be alive, but it would seem kind of odd. Yeah, do you know who the traitor is? No, all this time, and no progress on that mystery. Seems the answer has something to do with you. Now that you're here, we don't have much time to come up with a plan. The most important thing is important. Oh, great. Is oh. <laughs> Everyone's passed out. Oh god. What a jerk. He's been telling where we're at. We're being attacked! Really? No way. You take the mine car! The mine the mine the mine car. Oh great. What? thing is really hard to hit with. Come on out. Apparently I have unlimited ammunition now. Zoom in now. There we go. Come 
Come on out. I don't want this to take forever. If you think this looks difficult, it's because it incredibly is. <laughs> I, hope, I think this is the last spot. I hope so. a rapid fire cannon here. next. You haunt me like a ghost, but I will see you dead, I swear it. Hmm, happy to see me? Not bloody likely. You're a dead man. Uh oh. Ah. 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 Yeah, take him out. Bone finally got what he deserved. You finally killed that little goat bugger. Now you listen up. Blackbeard says you're going to Cartagena to get your people back. Skulls and guts, what a mess! There was a lot of blood in that scrawny little guy. Listen, Nick, good job on those Janizaries. Janizaries? Who are they? They're just mercenary scumbags, but I've got a line on where they came from. I'm going there, and I'm going to beat some information out of somebody. What now? You're gonna have to go to Cartagena. I think besides that girl, you know, you might find some answers there. Take Rockfish with you. <laughs> He's a friggin' genius. We'll plan to meet at Red Jack's Island in two weeks. All right. After many uneventful days on the ocean, the walled city appeared in the distance, sitting like a marker 
on a grave. All right, well, got a little long with this video, so that's all we're gonna get this time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next time, we will try to get into the city of Cartagena and continue our adventure. Goodbye.